In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a faded effect in Photoshop. So hi guys and welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me on Facebook at Retard Pro. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a faded effect in Photoshop. If you're a newbie, this is something you might be interested in. If you're advanced, you should really know this. So yeah, anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've already imported again today's image already here into Photoshop. Let's just double tap and rename that to basic. Great. So before I start doing the whole process, I quickly want to show you guys here is obviously the after and as well the before and after. Great. So let's turn that off. We can actually delete the complete layer and I'm quickly going to show you guys how to create the faded washed out effect. Before I start with that also over here, I'm just going to select the actions palette. If you guys don't have the actions palette, please go to window and select actions over here. If you guys want to know more about actions, we've also created a complete tutorial about actions. So I'm going to select the group over here and create a new action. Let's quickly rename this to faded effect and I will also explain you guys after the tutorial why I've done this. Hit record over here and now we're able to also record every step that we do. So I don't need to go and do that for every time when I retouch. I've already got that saved just as an effect like almost a preset. Okay, great. So for the first start, I'm going to go to adjustments and select hue and saturation adjustment layer. Just going to keep it there for the moment. We're going to play with it in a minute. Now as well, I'm going to go back to adjustments and I'm going to go to channel mixer over here and turn my image to black and white. Now, first of all, I still need to also click this box saying monochrome over here and that will change it to black and white. Now you guys are also welcome to do it with Lightroom, Camera Raw, whatever you please or a different technique. I like to choose this one because it's quick and easy as well. Great, so I've already changed that. I'm not gonna play with all of these sliders here. I'm literally gonna go to Hue and Saturation and now in Hue and Saturation, gonna use the different channels over here and then again tweak these different channels. Now as well, this is a portrait so a lot of skin tones have a lot of red skin um, or red colors in the skin. So I'm going to actually choose a red channel over here and just take the lightness here and tweak already my red tones a little bit. So let's also take that down a little bit. So as you guys can see, if I tweak that down even more, you will see all the red tones. Yeah, that's actually going to be affected here. I want to make my skin a little bit brighter over here. So maybe like a plus five or six. Great. And let's have a look also for the blues, for the sky, maybe down a little bit. Mm. Yeah, just like a little bit, that's okay. Or like a minus 40. <laughs> then as well, I'm also going to go into the yellow tones. And let's have a look if we turn down the yellows a little bit more, up or down. Yeah, down a little bit more. Just giving a bit of contrast. I think that will look really nicely once we do the faded effect. Okay, like a minus 51, that's good. And now for the very important step again, we're going to go back to adjustments again and just over here select the curves and now we're going to create a little washed out effect with all our black and shadow areas. So for the first start again here on the line, you just want to make like one anchor point over here, another one over here and another one over here. Try not to move too many of those. Then as well, one over here and as well, the last anchor point, just our shadow areas. We're going to tweak that up all the way and take this little guy, also tweak that up a little bit. And as you guys can already see how that already affects our image here. Let's press Z, zoom in a little bit and a little bit down. And you guys can obviously tweak it to um, the way you like it. So you can either make it a little bit less, a little bit more, a little bit stronger as well. Just having a little bit more black, so that actually looks really nice. Let's take it down a little bit more. And you guys, it's obviously a little bit of a creative approach as well, so play a little bit with this. Again, here's our before and after, before and after. So this looks a little bit too heavy still. Maybe tweak it like so. Don't forget, you can also always take the opacity here from the layer down a little bit if you want to have it a little bit softer. I'm going to keep mine to 100, and I'm pretty happy with this actually. So again, zoom out a little bit, and that's already just the simple faded effect here. Lastly, I'm still going to just take all of these three layers while holding Shift. Okay, select Shift, that selects all the layers. Now we're going to go over to this little icon over here, the arrow, select that, and say New Group from Layers. And we're going to rename this as well to Faded. Also Faded Effect if you like. Great. 
and hit OK. Great, so we've done everything. We've got our faded effect. Last step that we still need to do here is just literally stop our recording from the action. So again, hit stop over here. That will have successfully recorded all our steps here, as you guys can see. So I'm just going to minimize this again, faded effect. And now for the last step that I still want to show you guys, what I sometimes tend to do is just create a new empty layer again. And I'm going to rename this now just quickly to white. You can rename it to anything you like. And I'm going to select the brush with B. And I'm working with the Vacuum Continuous 5 Pro tablet. So I'm via my wheel here, I'm able to change my brush size really quickly. But if you guys don't have that, you can also press Control Alt together. Move left and right with your pen or mouse. That will also change your brush size. And up and down will change your hardness here of your brush. So again, I'm going to change my brush all the way down. Hardness 0%. And make it a little bit smaller. Great, select 100% opacity, white foreground color. And now I'm just sometimes brushing on the areas where I have a lot of blacks, like over here and here. Um, so I wanna just, obviously I'm not gonna do it on this side now because she has such a nice light here on her face. So I'm gonna do it more on this side. So again, just brush in here really roughly and a little bit more, a little bit bigger. Okay, we're just waiting for Photoshop to render that and make my brush a little bit bigger still filling in the gaps here. And now what I tend to do is just take the opacity all the way down. So let's start at 0% and then we take it up slowly, like 3% already looks good, 4%, 5% is a little bit too much already. Yeah, like 5% is actually great. So again, before and after, just adding a nice little boost there as well. So you can also play a little bit with that. Great, so that's basically all also for the tutorial. Now as well, let's have a look quickly if we could select the faded effect here on top. We can actually delete everything again, so the white and faded effect. When I come back next time into Photoshop and I wanna run this process again, just with one click, I can select faded effect, hit play over here, and Photoshop will do everything for me, as you guys can see. Great, so again, it's a little bit like it's a two second workflow, and I can continue with my work. Yeah, so this is basically how you do a faded effect in Photoshop. It's super simple, guys. Apply it to your images, have a look. If you don't like it, take it down a little bit, or you can apply it a little bit more. Yeah, so thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this episode. Share it with all your friends that can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>